What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode three of the Roots of Success podcast. I am your host, Nate the Great Peterman. And let me tell you, today we have quite the episode ahead of you. Um, I got my special guest on, my first ever guest on the Roots of Success podcast, Mr. Rich Nicholas. What's good, brother? How you doing, Nate? What's going on, man? Hey, I'm doing great, man. What about yourself? I'm all right, man. I'm, I'm glad to be here, man. I'm excited. Um, I'm loving the podcast, man. Hey, I appreciate that, brother. Really, man. So for those of you who don't know Rich Nicholas, I'll just do a quick, you know, brief introduction. Rich is currently a senior um, who majors in psychology out of Christopher Newport University. He has two certifications in positive psychology, one concentrated in resilience uh, from UPenn and another one on positivity and flourishment from the University of North Carolina. And he is currently working on others as we speak. Rich has had several speaking engagements <laughs> where he has ha uh, where he has spoke at his college and other local middle schools on the tools needed to live a successful and, of course, a happy life. Man, Rich, you have quite the intro. <laughs> hey, you 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 make me sound great, man. You make me sound great. But no, nah, no, nah, man. I just uh, I, I I love I love you know positivity and resilience, man. So it's yeah. kind of what I'm about, man. Heck yeah, man. Well. Well, yeah, man, I know that was a little bit of a brief intro uh, for you. So tell us a little bit more about you, man. Like, you know, you growing up, sort of where you come yeah. from. And of course, you know, where it is that got you to where you're at today, man. Yeah, no. Um, So I was actually born in Brooklyn, um, New York. And then I kind of lived there for about 10 years of my life. And then um, I moved to Nova. And uh, so I've kind of been, you know, in Virginia. But I've been, you know, in Virginia for a while. I, I, I would say this is like my, my hometown. Um nice. But, you know, really, uh, when I kind of got into really resilience was like my high school, probably like my sophomore or freshman year. And it's, it's funny because I, I was listening to Eric Thomas almost like every day. Thanks. And, you know, uh, you know, that was when he was like, oh, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. <laughs> and uh, I mean, he, I, I had like these CDs and I would listen to it every day. And um, so that's kind of that's kind of when I started listening to, uh, you know, motivational speakers kind of and I, and I really liked it it was my friends would always kind of be like oh we listen to this I mean I'm talking like instead of listening to like Drake in the in the car I was listening to like Eric Thomas <laughs> so it, 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 it you know and it really just kind of helped me like shape my life and kind of gave me energy and you know passion and I would say you know when I was kind of about like 18 you know so when I graduated like about when I graduated uh college I mean sorry high school um like maybe that senior year, I was waking up at five every day and working out with my dad. And so I would listen to Eric Thomas when I worked out. So that would kind of be like my pump up. And then, you know, I just kind of fell in love with it, man. And, you know, it just, it, it does you so much like good just to be able to hear someone who's like, put like, you know, giving you energy and life and, and passion and uh, just every day. And so, um, yeah, I was, I was grateful for that. Man. Absolutely, man. We all need that extra push. And, uh, you know, I feel like, especially in today's world, a lot of people, they don't have that, that will to, to get up in the morning. Right. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we yeah. all struggle with that and, you know, just sort of you addressing that. I mean, that's, that's super crucial, right? I mean, it's, it's not easy, you know, getting out of bed. I mean, a lot of us, we hit the snooze button. So <laughs> I definitely feel you where you're coming from it's there. It's very easy, man. Heck yeah, man. It's but, easy uh, the snooze button. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So that's, no, that's, that's, that's amazing, man. So like, I know you're a senior in college right now. Um, what are your plans after college? So right now, actually, um, I just I told you earlier, I uh, took my GRE today. So gotcha. I'm trying to get into graduate school. Um, specifically, I'm trying to go to the University of Pennsylvania, so UPenn. And I'm trying to study um, uh, positive psychology, so just get into a, uh, like a further, you know, in depth. And so I'm trying to get my master's of applied positive psychology and basically allow me to kind of go in the real world and then kind of be able to, you know, uh, put some more credibility on, under my name to, you know, master's. You know, Rich Nicholas, he's got, he's got a master's in applied positive psychology now, you know. So, um, yeah. and yeah, hopefully, hopefully it'll just, you know, boost me my career. So I'm looking forward to it. Absolutely. Credibility is super huge, as I'm sure yeah. you know. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people, for example, like, you know, speakers out there in the world, um, you know, they call themselves like, you know, a speaker or a motivational speaker. Yeah. Right? And there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah. at the end of the day, it's like you need some type of, of credibility behind you, whether it's maybe yeah. starting a company or, or just having something, because it's very, as you know, I mean, it's it's super, it's super like difficult to just get known or to really make yeah. it. I'm not saying you can't, 
Yeah. But as I'm sure you know, like it's always great to have that one thing, whether it's a company, whether it's of course writing a book. So for those yeah. who, you know who are trying to be a speaker, maybe yeah. you're starting to become an author because it's like yeah. um, I heard this the other day. This one guy he said it: the new uh, business card is a book, right? Uh, and, and whenever I heard that, I'm like, man, that's that's super, like that's <laughs> so true. And uh, it's just it's it's so crucial, man. Just credibility and things. And I think like what it is that you're doing in terms of, you know, wanting to go to UPenn yeah. and, and just like psychology, you know, like that's yeah. something that a lot of people, especially of our, our like age, they're not really too passionate about. And yeah. I think somebody like yourself, I mean, that's one thing that stood out for me. And that's sort of how we got connected. Exactly. In the first I know. <laughs> like the whole ET thing, Eric Thomas. And great guy. Yeah, so I know, I know sort of, you know, you said about uh, watching a lot of his videos and things. So yeah. What was one thing? Because I know there's so many, like there's so yeah. many speakers out there, right? You got, you got ET, you got Tony Robbins, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, you know, you got all these speakers. But what was that one thing with Eric Thomas that just was like, all right, like Rich, you, you got to stick with him. You know what I mean? You know, for me, I think it was like his story. I'm um, his story is phenomenal, and it's, it, you know, at first it was a little hard for me because I was, you know, I'm like, all right, well. I'm not really homeless, so how, how can I really relate to this guy? Right. Um, but, you know, if you – because I listen to Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, Les Brown, you know. And so Les Brown kind of had, like, a similar, like, you know, low background, kind of like uh, Eric Thomas. But I think Eric Thomas, it was just his, like, power in the way he spoke. Um, and I, I think, you know, so I was – when I was watching the video, you know, how I want to succeed as bad as we wouldn't breathe. Yeah. Um, the, there was a part where he where he's talking about you know when you don't when you you're not trying to do nothing but you're not trying to party you're not trying to sleep you're not trying to you know that when you want it that bad that's that's what you're you're going after your goals that much and I felt it and it, and it really sat with me and it kind of like made me realize okay like you you say you want this right and he, and he says he's like he's like you say you want to be be successful but you only kind of want it. Right. And so I, it challenged, it made me challenge myself. Like, do, do you really want it as bad as you, as you say you want it? And so that's how I kind of made this shift to where I was like, all right, now I need to, like, I want it. All right, now let's go and get, let, like, let's start waking up earlier. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, every time I wake up at three o'clock every morning, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get there. But, uh, you know, right now I'm waking up at five o'clock every morning. So I've just been trying to, you know, prove to myself, right? Like you want it, you want it, you want it. Let's then the show, it, you know what I'm saying? Prove to yourself. And so um, Eric Thomas, he really just, he, he he really sat. He really just got to my heart, and so I think that's what kind of, you know, stood him out out of the rest. You know, absolutely. Just the passion and everything that he comes from, yeah. like the voice. And I mean, that's the thing. Like you were saying, I mean, you, you didn't come from like homelessness, and neither did I. You know, I definitely, yeah. and and you as well. I'm sure. You know, we've been super blessed to yeah. come where we come from. Of course, you know, you go through little trials and tribulations, but yeah, but just look at somebody like him as well as some other people that might've been homeless that are like speakers and things, not, yeah. not even speakers. Right. Yeah. And, and just the passion and the way that they do things and, and having like that, that grit, you yeah. know, like that's something grit. that's very hard to come across and mm -hmm. it shows in his voice, you know, I mean, you can yeah. feel that passion, you know, so no, oh, man, that's, that's, that's amazing. I love, I love it. I love it. That's amazing, man. But, but yeah, that's in terms of, you know, just Eric Thomas, I think he's super one of the best, motivational speakers there is you know, i think yeah. you know i you know i do think les brown is really good too I, really? i'm not gonna lie i think les yeah. brown's really good tony tony robbins is, is he, he you know he's he's real aggressive you know and i, and I do oh, like yeah. you know he's he's um i mean i'm not sure if you see if you even watch some of his series on netflix he's i mean he's got people passing out and he, he's crying he's saving a lot i mean tony tony robbins is on a, is on another level i mean he's he's global he's i mean he's He's a phenomenal guy, but um, definitely Eric Thomas and Les Brown really kind of ha has me, um, you know, in the zone. You know, kind of how I saw going. Absolutely, and for for the ep for the the Netflix, you were just saying, um, I am not your guru. That's that's the yeah, name. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah he's that's... he's doing some great stuff in there too. He's doing some great stuff. Right, yeah, I watched that the first time, and man, I'll be honest, man, I started shedding tears. I had really? I'm like, man, yeah, this man, is... I, I know he's, <laughs> he's phenomenal, and I tell you what, he he gets the the crowd going. I mean, he he's got them jumping up, jumping, you know, and and one of the things that I like that he he does, and and he talks about it in his um, and you know, I'm not your guru. He he says he the reason he does that is because he wants to get people in a mindset ready to receive information, you know, and I, I think that's like so powerful because a lot of times you're speaking. 
and people could people could be thinking about you know a thousand other different things when you when you when you start you know but if you once you get them excited going 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 and, and then you come out and you're like all right let's let's attack let's talk about it you know let's um you know and it's it's phenomenal so I think he's really just like perfected his craft and he's I mean and, and it shows right he I mean he's 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 world now you know so it's it's great. Yeah, absolutely. One of the best of the game. I mean, I believe he is number one in the world for, for speaking. Yeah. Of course, yeah. like, look at what, everything he does. I mean, he gives back to so many, uh, you know, charities. And I think he's got his own, like, uh, I, forget, I forget the name of it, but something with, like, the, the hunger um, for giving back yeah. for the food. I think he gives back to over a million. I think over more than that every yeah. single year. It's just incredible. And it really makes you reflect. And it's like, man, that's just seeing somebody like him doing that. Yeah, and, and it's like, man, I'd love to do that myself. I know, you know? I, know I know, and you know, he. But he, I will say, but one of the things I like about him and 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 Les Brown, this is how I kind of relate to them a little bit. They kind of started off, you know, when they were younger in a in a position where they were going to seminars every day, and so they learned, you know, through going to seminars and talking to people and, and of that nature. You know, just the difference between yeah. them and Eric Thomas. Eric Thomas, he talks about how like everything that he speaks about is from experience. You know, and so um, Tony Robbins and Les Brown, just to see them be as be as successful as they they are, they are, just to you know get in that field and kind of master it and learn about it and read about it, and um, they they yeah. So so like two different paths, but both like extremely successful, both you know inspiring millions of people, and so it, it's great, man. Yeah, no, it's it's incredible, and I sometimes I feel like sometimes people get that mixed up, and they they don't really remember where somebody comes from. Like not everybody had you know, the blessings growing up, right? Yeah. Somebody like Eric Thomas and just seeing where he's at now compared to, because a lot of people, they compare, you know, I mean, that's, that's how things go. People say, which one's better is, is, you know, is ET better? Is it, is Tony better? You know, yeah. they all have their lane. Yeah. And I think even like with us, you know, whether it's, you know, in school or, you know, being an athlete or, or whatever yeah. business, I think it's super crucial because comparison and, and comparing to other people, I mean, yeah, you can do that, but what are you getting out of it? Yeah, and, and that's not nah, yeah, that's, exactly. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, Rich. Uh, so I guess you know a quick question for you. Yeah. So of course, you know today's topic revolves around you know being resilient. So in in your opinion, and of course from your standpoint, how does one person right? How does one person in their life maybe they're struggling right now and they're like, man, how, how do I be? How do I get to that level? How do I, how do I get to the level of being resilient? So from your opinion, how does a person really get to, you know, becoming resilient? Um, I, one place where it all starts is kind of understanding, get, like kind of getting yourself in a mindset, focus on what you can control, right? A lot of people, they fall into these traps because they, they, they get so consumed up about, about outside things that, you know, and they very well may matter, right? But sometimes they're just things you can't control, you know, you, like you can't control, like, uh, how how nice your teacher is to you or your coach or you know um or 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 the test right it's 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 hard to control things like that but being resilient means okay hey what what can i control okay i can't control my teacher but i can't control how long i study right i, I can't control my my coach but i can't control the effort i put in right so um it, it's figuring out you know that what you can control and then um catching yourself in, in, in these traps, right? catching yourself when you, when you fall into these traps of when you feel yourself going out of control again, when you feel yourself, you know, just kind of, you know, whirlwinding yourself in, in your own mind of, of like all the catastrophic, you know, things that could, that could be happening. And um, one thing for me is then when you do that, cause you know, being resilient is something people train. You, you have to train to be resilient. You know what I'm saying? You never just kind of get to resilient. All right, I'm a resilient. And now I never have to work at it again. Right. <laughs> you, you, you got to work at it every day. And I, I think that's one of the things I try to emphasize in like all my videos, it's consistency, right? It's consistently, you know, working at it. And for me, one of the ways I do it is I, um, I write down one positive thing that, that happens to me every day. And some, you know, and sometimes it's hard, yeah. Right. But even even if it's like, you know, I am thanking God that, you know, that I'm that I have my, my health, that I have my strength, you know, and training your training your mind to 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 think more positively, to, to be more positive. And just a little fun fact, uh, positive people tend to live 10 to 15 years longer than the average person. Wow. Um, so and, and so this is going to be good for you for your overall health anyways. But um, hmm. so so really, man, you know, and because, you know, I know it sucks, but it's like that mind over matter. 
right? Mind over, mind over matter. But it's, it really is true. It really is true. And one of the things I, I try to emphasize is no matter how you define success, right, whether that's be in terms of, you know, money or, you know, being happy or whatever it is, the most successful people are the most resilient people. Mm-hmm. And, 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 I, and I'm not sure if you, you've heard it, right? The, the most successful people tend to be the ones who have failed the most. Right. And, and that means you have to get up and, and get up after falling back down, get up after falling back down and just keep doing it. And, and it takes resilience. Um, so you know, that and, and it's just practice. It's practice. It's, it's a lot of practice. But, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're right. You know, when people fall, it's, it's not easy. You know, it's 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 one of the hardest things to do mm-hmm. myself, especially I look at over this past year um, and, you know, I've fallen a lot. And of course, the great thing about falling or you know, another word failing is, is just the growth that can come from it. And I feel like a lot of people, they, they don't really look at it that way from that perspective. Yeah. And if you look at things from, OK, like if I fail or if I fall, like, yeah, I got to get up. But that's also me going through growing pains if I react to it and respond to it the right way. Yeah. You know, I feel like that's definitely one of the biggest issues for people for really just getting out of the average zone mm-hmm. to going like up top, right? Being resilient and yep. things. And, and I definitely agree with everything that you said with, you know, Rich and, and where you came from with that. So like, I know you mentioned about getting up in the morning and, and writing these things down. Yeah. Right? Now let's say somebody, right? For Not for me, for example, I'm not necessarily somebody that is just, okay, let me just, let me get a notepad here. Let me, let me write <laughs> it. You know, you know. Yeah. So, so how would you recommend for somebody that maybe isn't into that? How would you recommend maybe another way um, of really just tracking or keeping down, whether it's goals or just anything in general? You know what I mean? Um, well, you know, honestly, if you don't want to take the time to write down, you know, you know, something, I mean, I can understand that. And, you know, you have your phone, too. Right. You could, you know, wake up, type something on type. You know, and well, I actually tend to do it when I go to sleep. Right. I, I tend to do it when I, before I just like, you know, that the day's ending and I like write down. But if if you're talking about you know other ways um like for for instance one of the things i learned is that so we have these positive moments that are like forever fleeting right and um so basically you know positive feelings tend to seem like they go away faster than uh the negative feelings right the negative feelings seem like they last forever positive feelings that like they like they're just so short um one of the one of the other things is when you're in a moment and you're happy right let's say you're with your friends or you're with your significant other and you're you're in your you know, just maybe, maybe just at the beach or you're just talking to them. You guys are having a good time. Take the time to really like notice that you're, that you're, that you're, you're, you're experiencing something happy, positive in your life right now. You know, a week, like positive moments are forever fleeting. And, you know, one of the things I learned is just to, like, just like, Hey, like I'm grateful. I'm, I'm grateful to be in this moment. I'm grateful to be where I am and, and notice that. And if you, if you keep doing this when you're, when you're experiencing these things like that, it's gonna help. It's gonna help train your your brain to be more positive, you know. And and, and the the truth is, it's hard. It's hard to not do these things. I mean, I mean sorry, it's easy to not do these things, right? But the, if you if you're talking about you know being happy and being successful, being happy is not easy either, right? You it's it's no one just wakes up and they're just, they're just happy. It, it's it takes work. Anything that you want to be good at, it takes work and consistent effort, right? So I don't want to. I, you know, while I, t- while I talk about other ways, I don't want to get in a, you know, a, 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 like, I don't want to convey that, that, it, that it, it's easy, right? Because it, it takes work. You're just going to have to work at it. It's going to suck sometimes, but, but it's, it's worth it in the end, you know? So. Absolutely. Yeah. Just like E.T. says, if it was easy, everybody would do it. <laughs> everybody, literally, literally everybody would do it. Right. <laughs> and I mean, that's, that's the thing. Just. These things right here, like writing something down every single morning, counting your blessings, counting what you're grateful for. Yep. It sounds easy, yeah. but when you start doing it like day after yeah. day, you mm-hmm. might be consistent with it. Yeah. But in your head, psychologically, you might think to yourself, oh, man, like I, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. Like yeah. I'll, I'll miss one day. Literally, um, yeah. And what's that called? That's called like procrastination. Exactly. Right. Now, I, I'll, I'll, I'll do it another day. You know, that test. I'll, don't worry about study another day. Exactly. Right? And by doing that, what's that do to our you know brain? It, it makes us like, okay, we'll, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. Oh, let, let's put it out another day, right? And you just keep going on and on. And I definitely, no, Rich, that's 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 amazing. Just counting your blessings every single day. 
yeah. being grateful. I do that, you know, and it doesn't have to necessarily, like you said, I mean, you don't have to necessarily write it down. I mean, yeah. you can do it in your phone or, or you could just do it in your head. Like, yeah. we're all different. And no, I mean, I think that's, that's incredible. And I feel like that's what a lot of people need to fully understand yeah, to really yeah. get to that next level. Cause I mean, it's simple. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's super simple, yeah, but yeah. it's not necessarily the easiest thing. It's not yeah. the easiest to stay consistent. That's yeah. why there's, there's like the top 3% yeah, and then yeah. the rest of the 97% because they're not willing to do the simple things, you know, you, you can't want what they want and not be willing to do what they do to get that, you know? Um, and I, I think one of the biggest things also is being self-aware, like even me per se, like, you know, even though I'm like, you know, I work on my resilience all the time. There are yeah. times when I'm, you know, you know, I've got a big test and, you know, so-and-so is making me upset and so-and-so and I, and I just, I'm like, oh, now I've got, and it's easy to like, you know, whirlwind down in your own, in your own head. But when you become more self-aware, I'm like, okay, Rich. Mm-hmm. You're, you're, you're freaking out right now. It's okay. Let's breathe. Let's, all right, you're, this is, okay, like you're, you're being a little dramatic. And so when you, you, you know, take the time to, to learn, you know, who you are, learn when you're, when you're being dramatic, you know, and, um, and it's helped me a lot. It's helped me a lot. And I, you know, you come up with techniques to, to do, you know, and one of the things I learned, um, when I was, when I got my certification, so they, they have, um, like a scrapbook. Right. So they, the one of the projects was creating the scrapbook of when you kind of have like you write down, you, you put in pictures or you can write down times of these the best moments in your life. And it's and when you're when you're going through something like, oh, I'm like stressing out, stressing out. That's when you pull it out and you open it and you just kind of reminisce, you know, and it kind of it'll bring you back to your kind of your, your inner, inner calm. Um, and so there's lots of ways. There really is a lot of ways to to really increase your resilience. But, yeah. Wow. No, that's, that's incredible. For those of you who are listening, I mean, I hope you're taking notes because what Rich is going over is just, this can really change your life. And even if you're somebody that's already quote unquote, you know, killing it, yeah. you, know, you can <laughs> it into your everyday life because these things, yeah, I mean, these things are nothing to joke about to say the least, yeah. uh, especially with me, you know, I apply some of the things that Rich is talking about and there's just, it's just incredible, but really Rich, I appreciate you sharing that. And and you know, I guess we can sort of just transition into a little fun questionnaire game that I like to do. Yeah. Um, so basically, um, for those of you who are listening, the audience, for these interviews, I'm, I'm going to be doing a basically the guest is going to be choosing three questions on on one to fifty, picking a number, um, any number on the scale of one to fifty, and it can be any question, right? It might be, you know, what's your favorite food? Who's your favorite artist? Or it might be something very deep. Okay, I structured these in a way that you know if you pick a certain number because i i know you guys i know you guys like to pick numbers <laughs> and, you know are, are most common so i structure it in a way where it's, it's not that easy so yeah rich i guess uh sort of pick your first number from one to 50 and i'll give it to you uh, my favorite number i'm gonna go with seven <laughs> perfect man well you picked the deep one to say the least of course all right so rich number seven why do you do what you do um, and, and to, to, you know, to not go into too, de- too much detail, uh, <laughs> my, my freshman year of college, I kind of got into this, I was going through some stuff and I really, you know, I don't, and I, I was telling my, my brother this the other day, I had, at one point I had a, a, a 0.91 GPA. Um, and it was, it, it was rough, right? I was, I was, maybe I was hanging out with the wrong people or I wasn't really, you know, controlling my circle of influence. I wasn't. You know, and I, and I was just going through a rough time. And my dad uh, kind of, he knew I liked Eric Thomas. And so he was like, you know, he was really trying to encourage me. You know, you should listen, listen, listen. And I was like, ah, oh, dad, you know. And one day I like just, you know, I, I, I you know, put on Eric Thomas and I was listening to him. And he, he motivated me that day. And the next day after that, I, I listened to him again. And I've been listening to every day for a while now. And when I, when I, I eventually to the point where I was able to, you know, you know, cut, cut my friends out. Well, the, not my friend, but like control my circle of influence, right? I controlled who I was seeing. And so I, I made a switch on who I was living with. I made a switch on w- when I was hanging out, when I was going out, where I was going. And, um, I, it just kind of shifted my whole life around. You know, I, I, I make the Dean's list now. Right. I mean, um, and for those who don't know, it's, you know, you get above a 3.5, you get on the Dean's list. And for me, it's phenomenal because to, from where I came from to now I have over a 3.0 GPA. It's, it's, it's been great, right? And so now 
when I go and I, and I speak to people, I, I speak to them on how you can learn to take control of your life, right? Being proactive, not letting life happen to you. And, that, and that's where I was at. And Eric Thomas, those speakers, Tony Robbins, Les Brown, Zig Ziglar, those speakers, you know, helped me take control of my life. And so now when I speak to people, I want to help them do that. And so this is why I study re resilience and, and, and how to be positive, how to be happy, how to be successful, how to surround yourself with people who also want to be successful. And so um, I love being able to potentially do what those speakers did for me. Absolutely. And just to go off that, I can definitely tell you're somebody that, you know, loves to give back and you're a big community oriented man. And that's just yeah. amazing, man. Like, really, that's the why is everything. And I feel like yeah. That right there is one of the biggest, another one of the biggest problems that people have is identifying their why, because it's, it's not the easiest thing to talk about, you know, I mean, especially just starting out, I'm sure like sometime in your life, you had a point where, hmm, what is my why? Yeah, you know? no, no, no. Yeah, man. Yeah. For Shop sure. to think and grow rich, man. Hey, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, pick another number, brother. Uh, 23. 23. Oops. Jordan year coming up soon. Hey, there we go. <laughs> it's another deep one. Okay. Right. What do you want? All right. What do you want your tombstone to say? Ooh. <laughs> That's like the whole, what do you, what do you want to be remembered for? Right. right. That's um, deep. I want to be remembered. I guess, I, I guess, you know, uh, my tombstone, someone who, who cared for others, someone who was, um, happy right and um i think one of the big things that i i you know and i we we're just we're talking about positivity i want to be someone who who when i'm in the room I, I make other people happy i make other people more positive i you know i make i i want i give other people you know energy to you know kind of keep going um the, and the, I, I love that question and what do you want to be remembered for because like honestly you know it really should affect the way you go about your day and the way you interact with people right because Let's just say you meet someone you 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 never know if you're gonna ever see them again, right? When you when you leave that conversation, how yeah. do you want them to remember you? Um, and so and, and it's hard, but I, that's really what I try to work on every day is in carrying myself and um, you know because if to, if today's my last day, you know I I hope I'm gonna be remembered as a positive person and someone who's impacting others. So yeah, absolutely. I mean, you look at Martin Luther King Jr. for example. Look at the yeah. impact he had and. I know he's definitely one of mine, and as I'm sure one of yours yeah. as well, idols yeah. that you sort of look up to. And uh, it's, it's, it's definitely something to think about, you know, for those of you who don't, you know, even know. I know some of us are young. I mean, I'm 21. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's just it's incredible just yeah, man. that tombstone saying. So that's, that's interesting. Yeah, well, that's, yeah man, it's, 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 it's a good question. Though. It, it honestly is a good question. Um, right. All right. Next one. Let's go. My dad's 51, 51. 51, I think uh, we only got to 50. Okay, uh, let's see, um, three. Three, okay, I got three. you. Perfect, last but not least, number three, there we go. Okay, if you were able to live to the age of 90 and retain either the mind or body of a 30-year-old for the last 60 years of your life, which would you want? So, ha so, so you asked, so would I want to be a 90 year old, but be a 30 years old? Yep. So if you were able to live to the age of 90, right. Yeah. And retain, you have the choice of retaining uh, the mind or the body of the 30 year old Ooh. for the last 60 years of your life. Yeah. Which one would you want? Oh, mine, man. Mine, mine <laughs> is everything. Mind is everything. Let me tell you, I, I've been, I've just been learning so much about the mind. You know, I was, this is a little, a little on top of, you know, I was talking about army, like seals, like Navy seals and things like that. Yeah. And just the, like, you know, the, the, the cold temperatures of water that they can like, kind of withstand themselves in and kind of like, hold, I mean, I know for me, I get cold pretty easily, but I can't imagine being like in freezing water. Right. And just they, like, that's what they train in. Right. And the thing is, right. Their body is no different from ours. Wow. The only thing that's different is their, is their mind. They're, they, they're literally their mental is is that much better where they can they can now withstand something they've gotten to a new level a new a new height that i my myself i haven't gotten to because of you know the, the mind right and so um the the mind is everything man the mind is everything and so 
Heck, man. If I can be, you know, uh, 90 or 30 with a mind of a, of a, mind of a 90-year-old, wisdom, man. That's a wisdom. That's what that is. Heck, yeah. I mean, back to think and grow rich, you know, oh, yeah. in the book. Look at that. I mean, just the principles that that teaches and, you know, the saying, uh, what you think about, you become. You know, yeah. I mean, if you're yeah. going to portray yourself, if, if you're not necessarily a millionaire or, or you know, maybe you want to be a, a, an all-time athlete like LeBron James or, or something, you know, if you think about what it is that they're doing, if you implement their habits, if you implement their principles and just the small things, that can make such an impact in your life. You know what I mean? Walking through, like if you're going to like a Starbucks, for example, yeah. you're walking in there uh, knowing like, man, I already got a million dollars, but realistically, <laughs> you may not have a million dollars. Yeah. Let's just, you know, what your mind is telling you. I know. Just walk with, like you have your chest out more, right? You, your shoulders are more broad and you have like that little, I like to call it <laughs> swag. You, you got that little swag. You're walking. Uh, look, bit. I can tell when somebody is confident, has some swag. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? It's, it's, and, and like you said, right? Success leaves trails, man. So it really does leave trails. And that's why I've been trying to, you know, you, I, I know you're reading every day. I, I, I know I'm reading every day. It, it's shifting. It's like shifting your habits, right? It's you can get into good habits. You know, it's it's it, it's it's great because you you can't you just can't expect to live like the one percent do and and not do what they do. You don't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I was watching Eric Thomas' video. He was like, he's like, you want what they want, and and you're not trying to give your sweat, blood, and tears. Yeah. That's what they did to do get it, and now and you don't want to do that. Come on, man. And so, yeah. Yeah. People are trying to you know, copy off other people. You know, they're not willing to do what it takes to actually get there for themselves. And oh man, that's definitely you know a topic I can tell we're both passionate about. Yeah, man. I guess you know. With that being said, um, of course, just to really end things and and things from here, um, what's one thing that you want the audience uh, that are listening and 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 whatnot to really just go home with today i know this the whole topic was resiliency but what's like that one golden nugget right so again we were just talking about what do you want on your tombstone yeah, let's yeah. say somebody's listening to this and let's just say some catastrophe happens in their life and and, and you were the last person that they hear you know words from that are you know whether motivating or just something that can push through and make them have a breakthrough what would those words of empowerment be, Rich? I would say take control of your life, right? No matter how it may seem that you're, that you're not in control, take control, be disciplined, right? No, find out who you are. Find out why you do the things you do, right? And, and take responsibility, but take control, right? And, and, and that, and that kind of leads into being consistent and being disciplined, um, it's not always easy, but it, it, but it's worth it. I promise you. Take control of your life. Absolutely. You heard it from Rich himself. Take control of your life. Don't wait tomorrow. Don't wait next week. All right. Don't wait a year from now. Right now. Now. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely, brother. Wow. That's that's amazing. Um, Rich, to sort of end it, um, where can where can the audience find you? Where can the viewers uh, follow you at? Yes, on Instagram, please. Follow me uh, at Richful underscore thoughts. Um, I, I post every week um, and I, I promise you I'm delivering good messages and I, I, I love it if you guys came and follow me. So thank you, Nate. It was, it was phenomenal, man. Great guy. Hey. I keep listening to this guy. He's, he's smart. I promise. <laughs> I appreciate that, Rich. Well, guys, that concludes episode three of the Roots of Success podcast. Uh, bye for now.